Tax cuts, meanwhile, passed by President Trump, putting more money back in the pockets of Americans. But paying the bills is still a major source of anxiety for most Americans. We just told you that consumer spending in the first quarter was the slowest pace in five years. But a new study from the American Psychiatric Association shows 66% of Americans are anxious or concerned about paying bills. That's 10% higher than just last year. Joining us now, the author of Retire Inspired, Ramsey Solutions financial expert, Chris Hogan. Chris, thanks so much for joining us. What, what a jump. This was a, a, an extreme jump for anxiety about paying bills. Why? Well, I think people are starting to step back and really understand the stress that they're under. I mean, they're working hard to, to make a paycheck, but that paycheck, Maria, is not going as far as they think it should or is that it ought to. And it's because of a few reasons. Uh, it's because people are not budgeting. People are getting paid and they're going out and they're just spending on whatever they want. They don't have a game plan. And obviously, we know the number one thief of our income, and that's debt. People are up to their eyeballs in debt, whether that's student loan debt, credit card debt, car loans. And so their money simply isn't going as far as it could. Yeah, I, th I think, uh, Bob Nardelli here, I think if you, if you look at uh, social media, there's a, there's a lot more being talked about relative to how far will your money go? Are you really set for retirement, right? You see all these commercials and ads, and I think your study shows, and you mentioned you know, that uh, what is it, one out of three don't have more than $5,000 towards retirement or savings? I mean, that's got to be a big issue out there. Well, that is a big issue, according to the study by Northwestern. Uh, but the reality is, is that people can do this. People can wake up and start to shake up what they're doing and start to work a plan. I talk about it in my book, Retire Inspired. When people get on a plan and they start budgeting, they start saving, and they get themselves out of debt, then they're able to invest 15% of their income for their future. We all know the two best things that help money grow are time and compound interest. We just need to get more people to wake up to this and start working this plan. So you talk about how people are worried about paying their bills. What are some of the biggest uh, pieces of the budget that people can cut back on to make that, that, uh, that, that hit to paying bills a little bit easier to manage? Well, John, I would say this. First and foremost, let's understand the difference between a want and a need. Identify and do a budget. Go back and look at your bank statements and let's track your spending. The two big things that are the most income grabbers are eating out and groceries. These two items are things that people do without even thinking about it. And so if you can step back and look at this and start to put together kind of a plan, I tell people go to cash. Use cash for eating out. When that cash is gone, then you're done. You need to go back home and start cooking. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it is important, isn't yeah, it? We it, saw that in this last report. Dagan mentioned that restaurants and bars yeah, were sales down. Sales were down. Were down. For restaurant and bars. Chris, with all due respect, my friend, when we lecture people over and over and over again about their spending habits, I wonder if people at home are going, I know I'm struggling over here. I've heard your message, but I'm barely making ends meet. And I've got to feed my family. And going out to a restaurant a few nights a week is just easier than when I don't have the time than going to the grocery store and buying food and cooking. I mean, do people at some point stop listening to the message? And do we run that risk? Well, I think it's a matter of, Dagan, the, the decision of do we want to choose easy or do we want to choose what's best in the long haul? Mm. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with going out to a restaurant a couple nights a week. I'm saying I want people to step back and really look at where their money is going because it's impossible to manage anything you're not aware of. I want their dollar to go further. I want them to live the quality of life that I think that they deserve as well. The best way to do that is to get on a plan. Right. Nothing changes until something changes. This this anxiety is real and it only will grow if people don't take action. Yeah, so I want people to feel better by doing better with their money. It's interesting in this study it shows that women are more concerned and their anxiety level jumped higher than men since last year. What do you make of that? Well, I, women are better planners. They are looking to the long end, and they're also the family caregiver most often times. I'm running into single moms out across the country all over the place. My heart goes out to them because they're working hard. They're trying to take care of kids as well as their household. And so women being better planners, they're more in tune to what's going on and also the desire for a plan. Uh, men are planners as well, but I don't think they look as long term, and they're a little bit more risk takers. But I think both of them can do better by acknowledging where they are 
are versus where they want to go. Well, isn't Chris, it also you sound the case? like you sound like Jocko Willink, who is one of my fa favorite <laughs> people. He's a former Navy SEAL, and again, he has this book out. It's called Discipline Equals Freedom. And it's exactly, it, the message is exactly what you're talking about. It's like, you, are you going to choose the easy road or are you going to choose the best road, the right road? It, it requires discipline. Right. It really does. That's Again, what it is. it's like Admiral McRaven said in that famous. Make uh, your bed. Make your bed, and I do that every morning, and it works. It works because, again, it gets your mind on being disciplined. You do the same thing every day at exactly the same time. You get up at exactly well, the and same Dagan, time. I'm so glad and you Dagan, mentioned that. And, Dagan, I would book. also say this. Also, when we start to take little actions, we gain confidence, and we feel better. So moving in the right direction, just like making your bed each morning, starting to budget, starting to look at this and identifying that you want better for yourself and your family, that's the first step. All right, we will leave it there. Chris, great to see you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Chris Hogan.